Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to a very anticipated Let's Play series. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, ever since I did an unbox unboxing for Let's Go Eevee. Uh, apparently, I had a lot of technical issues due to recording the Nintendo Switch, but finally we have things hooked up. So we're going to play this game on the Pokeball Plus that comes with the game. And we're going to compare whether this is actually better than using this, of course handheld mode as well uh, on the Nintendo Switch but sadly to say I won't be able to record any footage of me playing on the handheld itself because it takes quite a bit of uh, connectivity items to get recording on the Nintendo Switch off the dock so um, I'm just going to give you my review at the end of this uh, episode for the Let's Play uh, so this part one is basically a Let's Play and my review of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So with that said, let's connect the Pokeball Plus. Hopefully it does connect. There we go. And let's play the game. Alright, so connecting. So like I mentioned in the unboxing video comments, yeah, I will show you that the Japanese version of the cartridge is capable of choosing um, other languages for you to play in. But let's take a look at what they have for us installed first. <laughs> so adorable. So if you play Let's Go Pikachu, Pikachu comes out of the screen instead of Eevee. Alright, so here we go. We have the language options available. So guys, uh, if you bought a different language uh, version of the game, let's say for example Chinese, Italian, Russian, I don't know how many versions there are out there, it is possible for you to play in whichever language you are familiar with. So we're going to play English because um, well, let this Let's Play series is all about English. Uh, I have not started a Let's Play series about learning Japanese and all that but do let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do something like that a Let's Play series to teach you Japanese um, I myself am still learning the language so maybe we could learn it together who knows so anyway guys we're gonna pick the game in English we're gonna play this in English and move on So, not surprisingly enough, this portion of the game is not voiced. Or rather, most of the Pokemon games, uh, you don't really hear Professor O's voice um, from the anime series or even um, anywhere other than Pokemon Go, where the trailers for maybe the special events like Meltan, um, Professor O is voiced by his animated voice actor. Um, sadly to say, for the Japanese side, the original voice actor for Professor Oak has passed on. So it's a very sad moment. Uh, sadly to say we will not have the original voice of Professor Oak any uh, anymore in the Japanese side. But however, the English side is still retaining its original voice actor. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't implement the voice acting into the game. Maybe it takes too much data because there's so many languages available for play. So. I guess that's one of the reasons why they did not pick up voice acting for the characters. So yeah, let's move on. So hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. So Cubone is really tiny. I don't remember him being that small, even in the anime. Who knows? <laughs> this world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions. As for myself, I think the text is a bit too fast. I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay, so... In my, uh, in my own play of Let's Go Pikachu, I did choose a female character, so I will go with male version this time round. And so let's go with it. I picked this, I picked the silver head version of the female in my Let's Play uh, Let's Go Pikachu. 
Um, so yeah, let's do the same for the male version. So I'm gonna call him my male nickname. So it's CL due to its due to the YouTube channel. I I don't think I want to add in silent inside because it's a uh, kind of strange. All right, so it is easier to do this on a touch screen of the Nintendo Switch, but you know because we're playing on the Pokeball Plus, so. I'm gonna struggle with the Joy-Con. <laughs> there we go. So apparently, okay, that, that's not our EV because we haven't caught our EV yet. Uh, if that was our EV, it would have been a male EV because the female EV would have like a heart shaped pattern around the. You know that white tip portion of its tail? Yeah, it would have a heart shaped bottom for the tail. So this boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What was his name now? Hmm. So <laughs> in my um, play for Let's Go Pikachu, I used my female nickname Cecile for my character and I used CL for my rival. So this is going to be a problem since now both characters are male. Hmm. So I don't know. I'm just gonna go with question marks for this fella because I really have no idea what to name him. <laughs> they just give him some kind of mysterious vibe. So question marks, okay. There we go. So <laughs> yeah. Let's let's just keep him mysterious all the way. Alright, so mm-hmm. I see. His name is Huh? <laughs> Maybe you should have just called him her. <laughs> oh well. CL, my boy, your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures. Let's go! I'm not reading fast enough. Text is just too fast for me. Oh well, let's go! Okay! Alright, so everything looks very digital now compared to the opening that we saw. And yeah, as you can see, uh, we are starting to check out the surrounding and including our own hands. So my suspectations... Expect... No. I suspect that we are actually in the video game that we were playing on the Nintendo Switch in our real room. Uh, or rather, real life that we were... Um, previously in. So I guess we were somehow transported into the world of Pokemon because of Eevee that he came out on the screen. So I guess this is what is happening if people want to talk about the law of Pokemon. Let's go. So yeah, so this is kind of like a remake of uh, Fire Red. No, not Fire Red. Red, Blue, Yellow, Green. The original three games initially red, blue, and green because those are from Japan. Then red, blue, yellow because that's from the US. So four games in total if you want to talk about green and yellow that way. So yeah. So the character was playing the maybe the original three games and it got sucked into this world. I don't know. That's just a theory. My theory. It's a game theory. Nah. I don't. <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's just move on. Uh, so there's an email, hey CL, so here's what you need to know as a trainer. Press the A button and you can talk to all kinds of people. Okay, we already kind of knew that um, from the beginning of any Pokemon game. I don't think we need to be reminded, but maybe, well, newer kids who have never played a Pokemon game in their life, I guess this is probably how they learn the game, so that's fine. Uh, you know, tutorials for every single game is always ne needed. Um, but I think the older players would probably find it a bit annoying. So, but you know, we as gamers, this is to be expected of a game. Definitely, they need to teach you how to play the game um, at some point. You know, so why not? Um, up and at him. Morning, CL. I, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do different voices for the characters because I'm terrible at that and we knew how that goes from the past videos that I've done so I'm just gonna go in my normal voice. Uh, what's going on? You've got one weird look on your... Did he? 
man. So what's going on? Uh, you've got one weird look on your face. Oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Um, today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do... You read the email I sent you yesterday, right? Uh, just did. You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. Yes. I'm gonna book it to Professor Oak's lab. So see you there. Okay. This guy is really, really anxious to become a Pokemon trainer. Uh, I don't know. Maybe any 10-year-old kid would definitely be very excited to become a Pokemon trainer. If I were to become a Pokemon trainer at this age right now, I would definitely be reacting like that. But maybe not so obnoxiously. Anyways, <laughs> so let's get out of here. It's really nice to see Pallet Town in the whole 3D aspect. Everything looks so colourful and pretty um, compared to the black and white days on the Game Boy. And maybe if you've played it on the Game Boy Color, not really Game Boy Color, 3DS? No, it was the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so the remake for um, red and blue and yellow was on the Game Boy Advance. I think it was Fire, Red, Leaf, Green and... Yeah, I think that those were the only two games. Hmm. <laughs> uh, my Pokemon history is lacking because it's been so long since I've played any of the originals. Uh, well, my my good PG, thanks for the help. I thought Professor was being attacked. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Ah, if it isn't CL. Oh, of course, I promised to give you an... Huh? Your Pokemon today, didn't I? <laughs> Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Eevee? I hope we get a female one though. Aw oh, dang, the tail is a male version. Okay, that's fine. If you didn't know, I tried recording this game before, and I got a female Eevee then. So... Hmm. <laughs> my, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You, ju you just have to throw out your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. So, Alright, so hold your Joy-Con horizontally. We're going to hold the Pokeball Plus. I don't think we can hold it horizontally, but... Um, okay, according to the Joy-Con, the joystick is facing upwards. So... For me personally, I prefer to hold it like I'm holding a baseball, um, like I'm going to do a um, curve throw or whatever. So yeah, so this is pretty much how I hold it because it's easier to press the A button like this. So this is pretty much how I would hold the Joy-Con when catching Pokemon. So let's do this. So with your Joy-Con pointed at the screen, press the A button when ready to throw a Pokeball. So yeah, let's do this. Press A. So you can throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. So I'm gonna draw it like this, exactly like how he does it in the screen. Um, so yeah, don't forget, yeah definitely we don't want to let this go. This is pretty expensive to lose so. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. We're gonna toss it exactly. There we go, we got an excellent throw. So the thing about this and the Joy-Con is that, you know, they, they kind of lag. In, time, in terms of um, sensitivity of your toss, um, so you tend to have to wait, or rather expect the circle to be slightly three-quarter in closing, then you toss it, then you become an excellent throw. Of course, that is if the Pokemon doesn't run around the screen. So yeah, that was pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up the Pokeball and give the Eevee you caught a name? What in the... Okay, we don't see this happen in the anime as well, so this is a first. Now that's a lively Pokemon if i ever seen one.
Hey, wait! Come back! I don't think Professor Oak sounds like that. <laughs> so anyways... Professor Oak? Were those Pokeballs there? I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three? A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that... Ciel just caught. So wait, Ciel, you caught it yourself? <laughs> ah, the little squid is happily sitting in his ball. What? I've never seen that happen before. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, how interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens when we select other Pokeballs. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. Uh, definitely on purpose, but okay, never mind. So yeah, let's pick Eevee up. So cute. Could you imagine if we actually had a shiny Eevee at the beginning? And then it like matches my hair. <laughs> that would be so cool. Alright, Eevee became your Pokemon. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place. But it looks tough in... Uh, sorry, not tough. It looks as though it's taken a shine to you. CL, uh, why not give it a name? Uh, no. If I were to come up with names for all my Pokemon, it's gonna give me a headache, so... I am not one of those trainers. Alright, so no to that. Professor, I choose this one! And surely enough, he chose a Pikachu! What happened to the standard tree starter Pokemon? You're like Bubble Soft Squirtle and Charmander. <laughs> oh well, so let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, so... One or the other. Alright, so let's get out of here and start our adventure. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. Is that the Pokedex? What is that thing, Professor? This is the Pokedex I have designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught, and it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. CL and huh? <laughs> Honestly, I find it very hilarious whenever I say it, but you know. I want you each to take one with you. Um... You know, by now, I thought that Game Freak would have probably fixed their animation a bit better. You know, how many games have they done and looking at Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the animation is definitely way better than what we have seen before. You would have expected them to maybe like animate the Pokedex on the Professor's hand, you know, and we grabbing the item off his hand instead of him just, there you go! And then the item goes into our pocket uh, magically, you know, that kind of thing. So, Game Freak, do your job a bit better. <laughs> you find you can't get a very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm an old fart now. <laughs> Too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Hmm, kind of irresponsible, but okay. Um, get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon, this keeps getting better and better. 
I'm setting out right now. CL, you should do the same. If you think you're ready. <laughs> uh, just trying to make him sound like he's running further and further away. Okay, never mind. Uh, ooh, Eevee. Hello. I guess we're not that close yet. But okay, that's fine. Are we going to have like some traumatic occurrence like Ash and Pikachu and the Horn of Sparrow? Who's this? Wait, what? <clears throat> okay, so... Hmm... Our mom is dark skin. Am I adopted? Or is our dad or... Hmm... Okay, how cute! This is the one you got from the professor? What? You caught it yourself? <laughs> That's amazing! What should I call your new friend? Eevee? It's a lovely Pokemon. Very, very cute. <laughs> My, how energetic. Okay, that was out. That was out of tone, never mind. <laughs> I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. Alright, so I think, Mom, you're a bit outdated. Um, we do have electronics like the Pokedex that might contain an app for the world. Again, Game Freak, update yourself, people. Maybe give us like a chip to install the town map into the Pokedex. That's what the manga series, Pokemon Adventures, or what is known in Japan as Pokemon Special did. They had a chip to install the town map into their Pokedexes. Gosh, Game Freak, update yourself with technology. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, there you go. By using the town map in your bag, you would always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Eevee be good to each other. Alright, so hopefully that's the end of all the chit-chatting, because that is a lot to voice. Alright, so let's get out of this town. As you can see, we have wild Pokemon flying around the grass already. I definitely want to catch the Pidgey. We need, we need friends, we need more backup. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna catch Pidgey. So, I'm gonna show you guys what is so special about the Pokeball Plus. So let's take a look. We can see that it's gonna glow exactly like on the screen. If we catch it, there we go, you get the green light. And I don't know, if I were put if I were to put this closer to the speaker, you can actually hear the Pokemon cry of the Pokemon we just caught. So that's a pretty unique um, feature for the Pokeball Plus. The Joy-Con doesn't have this. So if you really, really want a full experience of the game, the Pokeball Plus is the way to go. But, let's talk about this later at the end of this video. Alright, so yeah, catching Pokemon does level up your Pokemon as well. Um, yeah, so if you didn't know, um, the EV stats are a thing of a pass. They do still have it. Oh, Bellsprout. They do still have it included in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but it isn't really used in the game. It is probably going to be used for a mainstream game in the future, maybe for the one that's coming on in 2019. Uh, if you plan to transfer your Pokemon from Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu to that new game, um, the, eight, the Eevee stats will still be implemented in that version, hopefully. Um, but for now, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu runs on the new kind of secret stats called AV. So yeah, anyway, let's get back to catching this Bellsprout before it runs away on me. So, toss! So, like I said, um, or rather, <laughs> why I was worried why the Bellsprout will run away, because apparently in this game, every single WoW encounter has an encounter timer that is hidden from you. Um, so that includes legendary and special encounters like Snorlax. So it's kind of important that you pay attention when it comes to um, encounters of the wild Pokemon for capture. You do not want to hesitate and end up having them run away on you. That's going to be very very painful. So for special encounters such as Snorlax um, and the three legendary birds, Mewtwo, 
um, you definitely want to save before encountering them because you never know, they might run on you um, as you're trying to catch them. So yeah, tip for you guys. Alright, so let's move on. We've got three new friends, no, two new friends. Uh, I can't count, it's late. Uh, as of I'm recording this video, it's already like 10.40pm and I had a long day, so... Okay, so... Rattata, we don't have that yet. So why am I going around catching all the Pokemon um, that have not added to the Pokedex? It's mainly not just for the Pokedex entry. Um, apparently this game requires you to have certain amount of Pokemon registered in your Pokedex for you to actually maybe meet certain criteria of battling certain people. That's kind of annoying, but I guess it's a creative way to get people to catch them all. Um, unlike the past. In the past when I played Pokemon, I didn't even bother catching Pokemon until I completed the main story game. Um, yeah, so this is a very good um, I would say introduction to entice people to capture Pokemon along the way like any normal trainer would in the real world of Pokemon. So that's pretty fantastic. So we got Radada, so we've got four Pokemon ready in our Pokedex. Alright, so hopefully we get to evolve them and we can change them out. I do not want to keep them in my team for much longer than I have to. Mainly because um, well, the Pokemon that we actually obtain in the wild like this, their stats are pretty pathetic, so not really useful in terms of battle. Only Eevee that we get as our starter Pokemon has a, um, a full perfect stat. So if you guys are familiar with Pokemon Go, when you appraise a Pokemon, or if you play any of the older games and you appraise the Pokemon for its stats, um, of course Having a perfect stat Pokemon is definitely a very vital thing in terms of a serious battle. So yeah, so Eevee is uh, a full stat or 100% IV Pokemon if you want to talk about Pokemon Go. So yeah. Of course nature plays a part as well. So for Pokemon Go players, you probably have no idea what nature is. So for those who have never played a mainline Pokemon game before and are just starting out, nature is very crucial in terms of Pokemon battles. Um, unlike Pokemon Go where you don't have nature affecting you as at all. So yeah, so if you are just learning, oh Eevee found something. So yeah, if a Pokemon you're walking with runs off and stares into the bushes or water or whatever, Talk to them, they'll pick up items and pass it to you. That's pretty fantastic. So, apparently in this game, you don't grow berries like you do in Go and Silver. Um, for those who have never played any of the older games, Go and Silver was the first games to introduce berries. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty important to grow berries back then. But, you know, in Pokemon Go and Let's Go, you don't grow berries at all, in fact you pick up these items um, in Pokemon Go you pick them up from Pokestops and events and all that but in Let's Go you pick them up from the WoW through your Pokemon's notification and of course having your Pokemon inputted into the Pokeball Plus which we will do at the end of the episode because I want to do that at least for every episode where we return and then um, have our Pokemon reward us with all the wonderful stuff that they've picked up along the way as we walk with our buddies in the Pokemon Plus. Alright, I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. So that's a pretty annoying thing to do. Um, considering that Viridian Forest is packed full of Pokemon. Um, if Misty was around, she'd be like screaming the entire way through. <laughs> because it's all filled with bugs. Ah! Okay, so first Pokemon Center we've encountered. Let's go take a look. The machine is under. Oh, how convenient. You know, considering that we have not done our first battle, this is really, really. I mean, if if I had EV injured, what would happen if I really needed Nurse Joy? This is really irresponsible. I don't know, but 
you know, maintaining their machines to help. Oh, if we found something else. Wait, no, what? Oh, come on. Here we go. So, here's the first thing about the Pokeball Plus and the Joy-Con. Getting to your position with pinpoint accuracy. Or rather, I think the Joy-Cons will do fine if you play it with grip mode. But if you do just play it with one, you know, like the way the Pokeball Plus is being used, getting to the exact location where your Pokemon is, the pinpoint position, is pretty difficult, especially for me when I have stubby fingers and hands. You know, the Pokeball Plus is kind of tiny, so yeah, so that might be a problem with um, guys who have big hands and all that. The ladies should have no problems with that, but still, because the Joy-Con, or rather the, 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 the joystick on the Pokeball Plus is pretty small compared to the joystick on the Joy-Con itself, yeah, so I guess that's one of the main issues I have with the Pokeball Plus. But other than that, it's pretty fun. So, yeah. Okay, so let's talk to this fella. Hey, you came up from Pellet Town? You must know Professor Oak, right? I've got a delivery for him, but I really can't leave the Pokemon unattended right now. Can I get you to take this to Professor Oak for me? Okay, so we've become a delivery boy. But I guess that's fine. Considering that we got um, free stuff from the professor. Thanks, kid. Say hi to the professor for me, too. Um, I didn't get your name. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> so apparently, they let you teleport back to the lab, so that's convenient. Why CL? Back so soon? How is little Eevee doing? Hmm? Hmm? And suddenly we're best friends? That didn't take too long. <laughs> Goodness me! Eevee here seems like it's really calm to be a true partner to you, CL. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. I hope so too. Uh, what's that? You have something for me? Oh! So my order arrived! Thank you for bringing it to me. So... Do I get paid? Hey, Professor Oak! It's about my Pikachu! It moves... Its moves are... Whoa! Ciel! That's so cool! He just rides on you like that? Uh, it's surprising how Eevee is being positioned on my head. It's like, its paws are glued to my head and it doesn't really need the grip um, to balance because my head is kind of tilted at an angle where it might slip off. Ah, and now we have... Huh? <laughs> as well. What what fine timing. I've just been delivered some very handy items which I think I'll share with the two. So, in the end we get more free stuff from the professor, you know, even though it belongs to him. Seriously now. Oh god, is he going to eat those? Aren't those berries for Pokemon? Uh, but uh, I don't know why I'm complaining. Considering that the anime itself, we do have characters eating berries that were meant for Pokemon. Um, especially like Brock. Um, he does make some of his food with the Pokemon food. Um, and of course, Pokemon are able to eat human food as well as we've seen through the um, TV series and the movies. Um, yeah, so I guess humans are able to eat Pokemon berries as well. I don't know, because if I don't know whether you guys have watched the latest Pokemon movie, um, The Power of Us. Yeah. Um, Team Rocket was selling lum, lum berry juice. So, 
I guess humans are able, capable of eating Pokemon berries. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. <laughs> uh, wait until Professor Oak gets a shock of his life when he sees Brock and the rest eating Pokemon berries. Um, when you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. <laughs> that was close. I nearly swallowed one of them right up myself. I think you'll be fine though. Uh, now then you two. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon for simple, simply focus. Oh, uh, god dang it. This is what happens when you're too tired. Um, yeah, so... Or simply focus on training up your favorites. So... My only request is that you have fun either way. Alright, so... I guess... What kind of Pokemon trainer do I want? Nah, you can't become a performer because it's not introduced in this generation yet, but... I guess we only have one route to go, and that is a Pokemon Master. Wait up! Come on, Ciel. You do know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? Are you asking for a wallop? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers too. I knew it. This guy wants to get a beating right off the bat. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time! Alright, our very first trainer battle. As usual, every generation always starts off with a rival battle. Alright, so... Alright, so here's the thing. I have played the Pikachu version and I kind of know that Pikachu can be overpowered at the beginning. <coughs> Mainly because he does have Thunder Shock at the start. So that is kind of a disadvantage for us because he can paralyze us. While Eevee on the other hand doesn't have much to go with. So we're gonna go with Tail Whip. Because um, considering that we can't use Growl on Pikachu because Thunder Shock does use the special attack feature or the special attack stat. So Growl only affects the uh, normal attack stat, so lowering Pikachu's attack stat wouldn't do much except that when we lower its defense, we definitely will have an easier time handling Pikachu. So let's just go with this strategy. So as you can see, Thunder Shock off the bat, hopefully we don't get paralyzed. Alright, so there we go, we get to see the fruits of our Tail Whip. Um, and of course we're going to end this with a quick attack. We want to be faster than Pikachu. And there we go! Very basic strategy for the rival battle. Alright, so... Yeah, Eevee evol uh, not evolves, levels up. Couldn't expect him to evolve right off the bat. <laughs> That'd be cheating. Plus, we, we can't evolve our starters. Apparently in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, you cannot evolve Eevee and Pikachu. So they're gonna stay in their basic forms forever, which is fine for me, because I love adorable Pokemon. We're gonna see Eevee in his full glory cuteness, which is fine. And but there are some adorable evolution forms, so I don't know. What? Did I lose? You most definitely did. I whooped your ass, boy! <laughs> Alright, so we steal money off him. At the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, there I went mouth mouthing off like I knew everything. And then I lost. How embarrassing. I probably should have trained up my Pokemon a bit before trying a battle like that, huh? But you only had Pikachu, so I had a bunch of Pokemon waiting for to kick your ass as well, so my bad. Let's battle again sometime. Did you enjoy your first taste of battle, young CL? Your partner Eevee seemed to like it. Huh. A bit of a meso, meso shit. Eh, how do you pronounce that word? 
Nah, okay, I'm just going with M. <laughs> so Eevee is a bit of an M. Hmm. Give me some time to recall how to pronounce that word. So maybe in the next episode. Technology is incredible! Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send... He's talking about Pokemon Go, isn't he? So anyway guys, it is part of tradition to talk to every single NPC in a JRPG. Yes, Pokemon is a JRPG, have you forgotten? Uh, I'm raising my Pokemon too. When they get stronger, they'll be able to protect me. Okay, so before we go on our adventure, it's always polite to say goodbye to mom. Hey mom, it looks like you're having fun on your journey with the Pokemon CL. Why don't you call me son? So weird, do your parents call you by your name? I don't know. Maybe it's different for each family, but hmm. Hello girl, you waiting for me? Who are you? How do you know my name? Oh, just look at Eevee. You two are already looking like great partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this! Wait, is that her sister? You put the sportwear in your clothing trunk? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna dress up Eevee because we don't like Eevee naked. Oh! ah! Okay, we're gonna play Eevee just a bit, so... I do know how to do this, so... The problem with this now... The Pokemon Plus and the Joy-Con... Uh, Joy-Cons are very, very inaccurate when it comes to... Um... This? So... You can't see my hands, I'm actually shaking below. Oh, oh, so... Ah... Uh, so, whenever you see... Pikachu or Eevee having a sad face, that means they don't like to get rubbed there. So I'll try to avoid rubbing there, so apparently I, I couldn't move my joy my Pokeball Plus away in time and the, the movement apparently went through. So I can kind of prod Eevee. Haha, <laughs> you can play with the cheeks. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> so in, in Let's Go Pikachu, it's a bit more obvious to do it on Pikachu rather than Eevee. And rub your ears. No, then we can feed Eevee as well. So you can see, I'm struggling to click on the item button because the inaccuracy of the Joy-Con and the Pokeball Plus is very annoying. So guys, this is the only part I really one of the one of the other reasons that I really do not like about the Joy-Con and the Pokeball Plus gameplay functions. Alright, so let's get out of here. So if you didn't know, the top button of the Pokeball, as you can see, where I have the protector around, the open area is actually the B button, or also known as the Y button. Um, no, not not um, not Y button. Y button is to shake the Pokeball. That's how you open the Y menu. So, <laughs> it seems like Eevee wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. Definitely. Yeah, so, alright. Um, we're gonna dress up Eevee. So pressing the top button opens up the menu. Yeah, there we go. So let's do that. Uh, clothing trunk. Outfit for Eevee. Let's make Eevee look like us. There we go. Alright, so we're done. Wait. Where's the shirt for Eevee? Is he wearing it? I can't really tell. Oh, god dang it. Okay, he is definitely wearing it, I think. Alright, let's move on. Okay, we do know how to jump hedges since the beginning of time. But I guess, once again, for newer players, they've never um, learned how to do it. Oh look, what are you doing here? Thanks for helping me out with the parcel. My Pokemon is a convenient chain selling all sorts of items, so please come visit us. Oh, I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. 
Now the thing about the Pokemon Mart, in the past, you barely visit it because you don't really need items to um, heal your Pokemon or even buy excessive amounts of Pokeballs. But now because of the catching system for Let's Go, it's a bit more annoying than Pokemon Go to be honest. honest. Um, so Pokeballs are very much needed now in this game as compared to the older generation games where you don't really need to stock up maybe like um, 400, 500 quantities of the Pokeballs, Great Balls or even Ultra Balls. Uh, so yeah, and back then having infinite amount of money was pretty common because you don't really spend them. So in this game, it's a bit different now. You need to actually really toss out your money, save a bit of cash, dig out, extort money from any of your trainers around you. You know that kind of thing? So let's go extort money from this young boy here. Oh my goodness, why is Pokemon teaching us? <laughs> so, alright, let's beat up Ronnie. I mean, his Pokemon. <laughs> alright, Eevee looking as cute as we do. So let's tackle Rasata. So if I do pronounce the Pokemon names wrongly, um, do pardon me on it. I mean, after all, I've been using that way of pronunciation since the beginning of time. Or rather, since I played um, Yellow Version. Yellow Version was my very first Pokemon game. Uh, I didn't play Red or Blue. Yellow and attracted me to the Pokemon game because it was very cool to see Pikachu walking behind you. Yeah. And it took me ages to actually got my first Game Boy. And... Yeah, the first fat Game Boy was my very first console. So that was the beginning point of my gaming life, I would say. Huh? You look pretty pleased about something, Sio. Oh, you beat another trainer? Good job! Well, since we're on the topic, you're gonna battle me here right now. The Pokemon you sent into battle might have lost some HP or PP. You should take them to a Pokemon Center and get them healed up. It doesn't cost any money and doesn't take long at all either. Just remember, heal up after battles. I really wonder how Nurse Joy gets paid since the Pokemon Center is free. I wonder what kind of government actually funds the Pokemon Center. Or maybe it's the Elite Four that's actually funding them. Hmm. After all, if the Elite Four doesn't get beaten, they keep getting money from the trainers. So they're pretty rich. <laughs> do you know there are actually uh, two kinds of cat? Yes, I do. Caterpie and Weedle. All right, let's move on. I don't need don't need any more trivia's. Yo, there, kid from Pellet Town. Okay, let's go buy our first few batches of Pokeballs. But first. I'd like to talk to the trainer, not you items. I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon will need quick healing. Hmm. Alright, so let's get more Pokeballs. We buy by a batch of 10 because 10 is the magic number to get a free premium ball. There we go. Okay, let's buy some more. Oh! Nope. Alright, so we have enough for a while. Don't want to stock up too many Pokeballs because once we upgraded to Great Balls, I don't think we really need Pokeballs anymore. This shop does good business in Paralyzed Hills. Okay. I'm sure all the other Pokemarts have the same kind of items. Alright, once again, as always in JRPGs, we intrude into people's homes like nothing. If you walk around with your Pokemon or let them battle, they grow to love you even more. Okay everyone, where can you find information that is useful for trainers? On the Pokedex! That's right in- No, it's the Pokedex! God dang it! <laughs> you can find it on the blackboard in our in books. Please read bulletin boards for trainer tips in towns and cities too. You know, considering that um, the Professor Oak can invent a Pokedex, um, you would expect technology to be way more vast than books and 
libraries. You know, I mean, in in this current generation of our society, we do have libraries still, but most of the information can be found online. So get to it, people. Update yourself. <laughs> All right. Oh great, we have more weaknesses than we have strengths. So, if you're wondering which version to play, even though some of the people online have revealed that Let's Go Eevee is the easier version, I have to disagree. I think Pikachu is the way to go for beginners. It's great that you can carry and use your Pokemon anytime anywhere. So, this way is actually towards the um, Elite 4 and all that. Oh look, it's a Nidoran! And a Nidoran female! Let's catch one after the other. We gotta fill up the Pokedex. Alright, so most of them at the beginning are all green. So it's pretty fantastic. There we go, excellent troll. Although we missed the first one. So, did you guys hear that? I don't know. Alright, there we go. We have Nidoran female into the Pokedex entry. I'm gonna catch the male one now. Sneak attack! Alright! Excellent as always! Here we go! Hopefully the audio gets picked up because this is pretty soft. Alright, lots of leveling up. I think I should get rid of one of the Rattatas. I don't need another one evolving. So this is the other annoying part of the game. At the beginning when all the Pokemon are low level and you see them all leveling at one go, it's pretty annoying to keep pressing and pressing and pressing. That's a skip. Alright, so there we go. Alright, let's get Nidoran male into our party so we can evolve it. So alright, to open Pokeball, I mean a Pokebox, you can see at the bottom right hand corner it says the Y button. So for the Pokeball Plus, you shake it left and right. There we go. So getting rid of this one. And we are having Nidoran Mail into the party. Alright, that's it. Okay, let's continue. So Alright, so if you didn't know, um, at the later part of the game, they actually inform you through an NPC that if you see your partner Pokemon's tail wagging, it means you're near a hidden item. As you can see, Eevee's tail is wagging. There you go. So if it wags faster, uh, it's actually it shows that you're actually closer to the item. There you go. So that's just an example for you guys. Uh oh. <clears throat> You're hoping to make it to the Pokemon League someday too? That's where you can battle the strongest of all Pokemon trainers. The ones they call the Elite Four. I was hoping maybe I could get a glimpse of them, but the guard at the gate wouldn't even let me pass without any badges for Pokemon Gyms. Guess I'll just have to get there the long way by battling and getting strong. So CL, I guess that means it's on! Wait, what? Oh god. I hope his Pokemon are not as high level as I think they are. Please. So if you had Pikachu, you will breeze through this match because he has Thunder Shock and PG is weak against Electric. So unlike Eevee here, we only have normal attack moves that are pretty mediocre. So at the beginning portion, I think PV is pretty difficult to handle. Once again, let's go Pikachu is the way to go for beginners. No, I'm not gonna switch. I'm gonna let Eevee 
do the battling because I think Eevee is more than capable to take out Pikachu. And why is your Pikachu still naked? At least my Eevee looks dressed and proper. <laughs> Alright, Thunder Shock, so there we go. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed. Yeah, right, so no paralyzation there. That's pretty fantastic. Alright, we whoop his ass the second time round. Hmm. Maybe battling like this is just helping you get stronger. Huh, CL. Ah, I'm getting really tired, guys. So, yeah. Um, let's move on. Let's train hard so that someday we both make it to the Pokemon League. Alright. Oh. What's that at the bottom left? Shake. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess Eevee wants us to play with him, so he, that's why he had that icon in the bottom left hand of the screen. What's with that sleepy face? Wake up. There we go. Wee! Come on. Yeah, there we go. You like this, don't you? Come on, do something else. Hey, okay, that's it. Enough fun for you. Okay. Let's see. Down we go. Oh. Is there any hidden items here? Maybe not. So many ratata. Alright, let's go in and take a look just in case. Maybe we might be able to pass. <laughs> Can we be a ninja and sneak around? Apparently not. Only truly skilled trainers can pass through here. You don't have a boulder badge yet. You must have it to get to the Pokemon League. Okay. I thought I could ninja my way through. Hmm. Alright. There's an item here. Let's pick this up. Oh, cool. More Pokeballs. Alright. It's nice that the animation for walking around is... or rather running around is given to us straight away from beginning. Um, unlike the older, ga older, the older games, um, you had to get like running shoes or even... I don't know some kind of uh, permission to run. Oh ho! So you're working on a Pokedex? Then I'll give you a piece of advice. You'll do well to stock up Pokeballs and a Pokemon before you continue your adventure. Yeah, that's what we kind of did at the beginning. So, hmm. Alright, intruding into people's homes is always important. <laughs> Coming up with nicknames is fun. No, it's not! It gives me a headache! Uh, clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. Yeah, that's why I prefer not to change or give them a nickname, so... Sumi! Alright. My daddy loves Pokemon too. So do I. Alright. Let's talk to the lady with the Oddish. Where do I get Oddish? Wow, your Pokemon is riding on you! That's super cute! I think my Pokemon will be a bit too heavy. Is Oddish really that heavy? That's why I have it walk with me instead. Oh! Okay! Well, that's nice of you to help me. Ooh, Pidgey! Uh, I think I'd like to have other Pokemon other than Pidgey. Oh, sorry Eevee, not right now. Okay, let's see. Um, Bellsprout, I choose you. <laughs> I like to see it waddle behind me. Oh dang, it's fast! This Pokemon gym is always closed. 
wonder who the gym leader is. wonder if it's still Giovanni. Oh man, the bell spell is fast. Dang. Alright, route 2. Let's see if there's anything new. Canopy! Alright, let's catch our first Caterpie. Toss! Up! And that is the another issue I have with this Pokemon Plus and the Joy-Con. The directions they toss can be messed up. Even though you toss it straight, it goes left or right sometimes, so that's really annoying. So let's do this again. There we go. Mm, hopefully you catch it. So far the Pokemon in the beginning portions are all like 100% catch rate, kind of, uh, but you know. Alright. We got Canopy. Alright, there's Weedle there as well, so let's add the two um, worm type Pokemon. Go. Toss. Excellent. Fantastic. Here we go. Fantastic. Can you guys hear it? I don't know. Alright, everyone's leveling up. Poison Sting. That's not too bad. So the other thing that worries me about the Pokeball Plus is that if we keep pressing this, I worry that the joystick will actually spoil. So it's going to be very expensive to replace this. They should have kind of like uh, find an alternative way to make this a little bit cheaper to replace. You know, considering that it's only half a Joy-Con. Well, considering that this is also used as a um, Pokemon Go Plus. Um, I don't know. It is, it is like double the price of a Pokemon Go Plus. So, I don't know. Is it justifiable in terms of its price? So far, I have enjoyed using this though, so. But I still think the price could be a bit cheaper. Pidgey, no need you anymore, so let's go in. If a Pokemon uses a move that's the same type as itself, the most power get a boost. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Some natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Hmm. Alright, we are here in Viridian Forest and this is where I'm going to end episode 1 of Let's Go Eevee. Guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first part of the game. Um, and yeah, and now we're going to move into the other portion of the game where I talk about what I feel about Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu um, from my experience of Let's Go Pikachu. So the game is a very refreshing um, re reboot of the, um, the original series for red, blue, yellow and green. Um, it is pretty interesting that they have incorporated the catching style of Let's uh, Pokemon Go into Let's Go. Um, it is uh, a bit of a pee for some people out there, but for me, I think it's um, a thing that we've wanted for a very long time. Oh my goodness, we're being bombarded with Pokemon, so yeah. Um, so a lot of Pokemon fans have always wanted to be able to experience tossing the Pokeball and catching the Pokemon. So that's what they have incorporated into Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Not forgetting Pokemon Go. So, although they did remove the battling aspect of it, it is not entirely lost. In the later portion of the game, uh, like I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, Pokemon such as Snorlax, Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres, even Mewtwo, you still get to battle them before catching them. But however, the thing that is missing is actually staying in the battle and trying to catch them. Uh, and let's go Eevee and Pikachu, however you have to battle them and knock them out before entering the catch phase. 
So that's the only difference between the standard Pokemon games and the ones we have right now for Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Um, it is pretty fun to play the, with the Joy-Con and the Pokeball Plus in terms of catching Pokemon, but it is very annoying, um, especially if you plan to chain for Shiny Pokemon and Perfect IV Pokemon. So guys, I only highly recommend this if you would actually like to fully enjoy the game and its story glory, but if you're planning to play Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu at a competitive level, handheld mode is the way to go. It is the most accurate way to catch Pokemon in my sense. But playing the game normally, other than a side of catching Pokemon, um, Pokeball Plus is definitely the way to go. The sounds, the vibrations, the colors of using this uh, device to play the game is definitely worth the money. There is also a Pokemon Go Plus for Pokemon Go. And in terms of responsiveness, this is a better product compared to the Pokemon Go Plus, which I also have. So yeah, guys, um, in terms of this overall, I will give it maybe a 90 out of 100 um, in terms of usefulness, productiveness, and um, design. I really, really love the design. Sadly to say, the battery life isn't that fantastic. Um, I am able to play Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee with this for 4 to 5 hours and still use it as a Pokemon Go Plus on my handphone, uh, mobile phone device for a few hours and it's not too bad considering that it's still an eternal battery, um, it doesn't use like the phone battery like the Pokemon Go Plus and yeah this thing charges on the type C USB cord so most of the modern devices will probably um, will help you out in charging this device if you have a Type-C cable. So overall, my review for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is a pretty positive one. It is a very very refreshing tone compared to the mainstream games. It is very enjoyable and it is very addictive. I find myself wanting to play this continuously compared to the older games where I almost never finish them. Um, as for me, the last game, the last Pokemon game I actually finished was Black and White 2. Um, so yeah, uh, Alpha Ruby Mega, uh, Alpha Ruby Omega, uh, Sapphire, um, Sun and Moon. I have not finished them, and uh, considering that I did do videos on Sun and Moon, I have not finished, or rather, I have not continued ever since those videos were uploaded, because well, I didn't really got motivated to play the game. So let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, or uh, rather let's go Pikachu in my sense because I have played it outside of this video recording. It got me trying to find time to play the game whenever possible. It is so much enjoyable uh, compared to the very first original series of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow and Green. Of course, it is not the best Pokemon game out there but it is a big step into the future of Pokemon gaming on the Nintendo Switch especially. So guys, if you're considering to pick up the game, I will highly recommend you picking up the Pokeball Plus set that comes with the game. And of course, for beginners, Let's Go Pikachu is the way to go because Pikachu is a lot easier to handle in terms of a starter Pokemon at the beginning. All right, Eevee, however, as you can see, we are struggling a bit because of typing um, but that's fine, you know, Eevee is a hard hitting Pokemon as compared to Pikachu. Pikachu is a special attacker while, Pik while Eevee focuses more on the main attack stat. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game uh, as much as I did. Uh, and of course, um, if you like what you see in here as usual, do let me know by hitting the like button. And of course, subscribing down below if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Go Eevee. Until then, matane!